And finally tonight, the story of a hard-fought battle that's underway to try to save from the wrecking crew a stately stone church built just after the Civil War. And this battle has turned into a civil war of sorts among members of the congregation of about 600, as well as its leadership. Built in 1867 of stone quarried nearby, the First Presbyterian Church of Ewing in Mercer County is sagging some, its walls bowed from the weight of the slate roof, and its doors shuttered just over two years ago by the township building inspector. This after congregants reported a cracking sound and dust falling around services one Sunday back in 2007. There's a certain stewardship here that, that really extends beyond the congregation itself to the whole Ewing community and, and really well beyond. Preservation New Jersey put the church on its 10 most endangered historic sites list, but to no avail. In a closed-door meeting last month, the congregation's elders, or sessions as they're called, decided by majority vote that its stewardship of the church building would end with its demolition, which would begin this month. That decision hasn't sat well with a number of the church's 595 parishioners, including one of the elders who voted against demolition last month. We are hoping for a process that we're able to, to reconcile and work toward the saving of the building. Robert and Helen Cull are solid church members. Robert's on the church's governing body. Helen chaired a fundraising committee that gathered nearly a quarter of a million dollars in commitments from some 600 donors, church members and non-members alike, to help pay for needed repairs and restoration. Most of the funds came from beyond the congregation, from the community, the immediate community and, and people beyond this area even who have loved ones buried in the cemetery, who have a former connection with this congregation, who have a former connection with Ewing Township, and or who just love old church buildings and appreciate beautiful old buildings and would like to see this saved. The church's senior pastor, Elizabeth Vandergrift, has declined comment publicly. The only official word on the decision to demolish the building is carried on the church website, which says in part, quote, our faith teaches us to seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit as we try to discern God's will. We trust that the decision we have made to proceed with plans for demolition of the building has been so guided. But the Culls and Preservation New Jersey say the action is missing guided. There are many, many churches in Europe or even in America that are far older than this one that, that, that have the same similar kinds of structural issues. Uh, they are not unsafe um, and they have been preserved either as places of worship um, or, or per perhaps for new uses. It's a significant landmark to the town, certainly to the congregation, to the architectural community, to the preservation community. It's a 142-year-old wonderful building, and we believe that it should be saved. There's already been a lot of money put into it. Why not keep working on trying to save it and rehabilitate it instead of demolishing it? Well, estimates on what it would cost to repair the church are varying wildly at the moment, anywhere from $100,000 to $2.5 million, depending on who you talk to. And we should note that congregants who oppose the demolition have appealed to a higher authority, and no, it's not who you think it might be, but to an appeals panel of sorts working out of the church's regional body, the Presbytery of New Brunswick. They'll hear the case on Thursday. If the opponent should lose their appeals, well, the church could come down later this month. And that is the news. I'm Jim Hooker from all of us here at NJN News. Thanks for watching. See you back here again tomorrow.